I've been sent the same video now by a few different people, which is quite horrendous. I'm going to show you the video, uh, but just to say that it's not horrendous in what you actually see in the video, because you don't really see anything. But it's what happens in the video so that you know what happens. So this is really a video of warning and a little bit of an awareness thing, because I see this all too often now and on a rapidly increasing basis. This is the use of electric bikes or e-bikes. Now, the law on these is relatively clear, although I dare say that so many people are going to be using them and flouting the law because believe it or not, some people just don't comply with the law. Now, the law with regard to e-bikes is that if you are 14 or over, you can use an e-bike as long as it meets certain requirements. I'll come back to those in a moment, but first of all, watch the clip and I'll tell you why I think it's a problem. So clearly what you see in that video there is the e-bike zip past and crash into people who are crossing with the assistance of a crossing warden. Warden or not, sign or not, they went straight through and knocked those people over. Now the person on the e-bike did stop, albeit briefly, before you can see zooming off again into the distance, probably never to be seen again. Now the article suggests that they are appealing for information as to who this is, but in my view, it's highly unlikely this person is ever going to be found because it's quite clear from the video that they are head to toe in black clothing and a face mask, so no one is likely to recognize them. There are no license plates on these bikes because it's just a bike which is powered with electricity and batteries, which if they are legally compliant will be limited in power, but I dare say they are probably not all legally compliant. Just walking around in Birmingham today, I've seen 15 or 20 in the space of maybe a two mile walk. And I'm probably underestimating at that. And some of those again are zipping past like I'm standing still while I'm on the pavement, I might add. They're on and off the pavement in front of me, behind me, around me, around other people. It's amazing that they haven't knocked anyone over in my two mile journey with the amount that I've seen. Now, the law requires that these electric or EAPCs, which are electrically assisted pedal cycles, must have normal pedals so that they can be used to ordinarily propel it. However, the problem is they don't need to be licensed, they don't need to be taxed, they don't need to be insured, and they certainly don't need to be registered or have any kind of license plate or identification features. Meaning that in videos like this, where these people crash into people, just zoom off into the distance, probably never to be seen again, there's no comeback, criminal or civil. Because as you've probably heard me mention a number of times, there is usually a parallel civil case to a criminal case, i.e. if someone is injured by some kind of assault, there is usually damages in a civil court. Likewise, criminal damage, there's the damage of the repair and so on and so forth. But if these people disappear, as the House of Lords once put it, the only defendant that is worth suing is one that you can bring to court and enforce a judgment against. Now, these e-bikes have legally a limited power output of 250 watts. They should be able to propel the bike no more than 15 and a half miles an hour, which I'm guessing this bike in the video, I haven't measured and done the maths because I don't have time, but I'm guessing that it was going more than 15 and a half miles an hour. Or even if it wasn't, then it's doing a very good speed going past when it crashed into these people. I don't know the extent of injuries. I hope they're okay. But this is certainly not the only time that people have been injured by these e-bikes. Now, I'm all for increased methods of transportation, giving people options to get around town easily, economically, and potentially friendly to the environment. 
but not if it's the case where it ends up crashing into people and injuring or killing people. But as I say, I've seen this so much more and it's increasing rapidly. When I walk about town and city centres, there are dozens of these things zipping around and they are not just a little bit of extra power. These things are serious power on these bikes. They've got huge wheels, huge tires, and they zip around at ridiculous speeds. So this is a serious problem. This is far beyond the cyclist that goes through the red light and causes people problems. These are bikes which are getting around so fast that it's going to be very difficult for anybody to identify who they are and it's going to be difficult for police to catch up to them and apprehend them if they are responsible for any of these offences. Not to mention that if they've left the scene, there's a reasonable doubt as to whether it's the same person, which any defence barrister is going to have a field day in court to say, you cannot be absolutely certain that this is the person that rode into you because they left the scene, they were dressed in black, nobody identified them, nobody could identify them. There's no identifying marks on the vehicle, there's no registration on the vehicle. You cannot be certain that it was this person. Therefore, there's a reasonable doubt. Therefore, they will probably be acquitted if they are charged, unless they are followed with absolute precision to where they go to, to the point that they are apprehended by the police and then charged which is a very tall order, especially when the police have a difficult job as it is in apprehending people that are crashing into people in exactly this way. So I, for one, think this is a serious problem. Let me know in the comments what you think, but it's just like the e-scooters. I'm a fan of the e-scooters to the degree that they would be really useful to get about town if they were safely used and if that requires a license and a tax and insurance and everything else, then that might be the only option that we have because otherwise this is going to be an increasing phenomena where people, and I mean people that disobey the law and just ride whatever they like, wherever they like, at speeds they like and with reckless disregard for anyone else's safety, as is shown in this video here, where they crash into people. This is a serious problem. And I see it more and more with delivery companies. I'm not going to name any particular delivery company because that would be defamatory without some sort of underlying fact pattern and proof that it's them that's responsible. But I see it with delivery companies where their individuals delivery drivers are on these bikes zipping around and it's not cool because it is putting people in harm's way people are going to get injured and people are going to get killed so as i say let me know what you think in the comments let me know what you think the reasonable solution to this problem is because it is a problem i see this more and more and we really do need to do something as it is i don't think the requirements are sufficient in that they do legally limit the power of these bikes, but we all know that some people flout those laws and they are just zipping around on them, regardless of the power restrictions, regardless of the speed restrictions, and they're all over the pavements, all over the place. So as I say, we need to do something about it. Let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. And as always, thank you for watching.